Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It's Sunday the 26th of June. Quite late here, but I've had a pretty relaxing day. Um, my life is getting back to normal. My work life has slowed down. Last Saturday on the 18th, it finally had a, um, came to a head with all that big event that I'd been organising and planning for the 50th anniversary of the charity that I work for. Um, yes, been going 50 years. And we had a cocktail party and it was a big success. It was just a lot of stress organising it, coordinating and getting it there. And I'm happy to say it was fully sponsored by corporate. So none of the charity's money was used on the cocktail party. It was exhausting and I had Doreen, Emma's mum, to help me, which was greatly appreciated. Um, I did not, however, do the charity markets. Uh, this market store with my charity store on the Sunday. I had planned to, I told Suzette I would be there. In the end, I had to let her know I was just too worn out to set up the market store, pack it up, sit there for hours. But I promised her I'll be there in July. Um, I pretty much slept all of Sunday. My bosses told me to take as much time off as I need. Um, to recuperate, I had Monday off, which I slept most of the day, but I had to be back on deck Tuesday because I do have a bit of follow-up um, workload to get through, which I did this week. So tomorrow, Monday, work life should be very much back to normal. However, because there was nothing much on this week, I did find time to crochet and knit. So I've had some yarn adventures this week. So firstly, I'll kick off with the baby blanket. I asked you all to pick one of the three patterns, nominate which one you think I should make. And of course, the most popular was the Sweet Tear Spring Blanket by Karen Wright at Building Blessings. And I have made it. Would you like to see it? Here it is. Now, this was quick and easy for me because I have made it before and muscle memory kicked in. It is such an easy blanket to make. It's so lightweight and it's lovely. So I have used peach, this green and this aqua blue. Now I have made it in similar colours before using the peach and the green and a yellow. Um, I think that's what the gift was. But here it is. It's a lovely baby blanket. Now I used Peyton's Big Baby um, four ply, the local yarn we get here. It's lovely and soft. Here's the ball band. I just dropped it on the floor. I'll put it there. Now it took, these are, let me have a look, 100 gram balls with 420 meters in the ball band, in the ball, that one. And this is all that's left of the three balls. Very little of the um, major colour, the aqua, a bit of the peach and a bit of the green. Which will go into my four ply baby stash because I have started another project using eight ply baby stash. And when I build up some four ply, I may do that project again. So yes, this is just 60% um, acrylic, 40% uh, nylon, 120 metres in a ball. Peyton's big baby four ply. I picked a lot of those colours up on special. They're normally between eight to ten dollars, and I think I got them for about four dollars each. So yes, it has turned out lovely, but it hasn't put a big hole in my baby yarn stash. So I may have to look at some more projects to make. So then I thought I'd give you an update on some of the finished objects for my cows that I am joined in. So first off, I do Zeta's calendar cow. And for the month of June, it was Charm Grammy Crochet. Hopefully, if I can find a picture of what it looked like, I'll put it at the end so you can compare my finished object. Now, I've been making tea cozies because they're always handy to have on my charity stall. And here is my tea cozy. Now, the picture was a lot of green hills with what looked like purple and white flowers. And I decided I would make this one. This because I've never made it before and it is a very different pattern. Now it's a free pattern on Ravelry and it is called Chamomile Lawn. I'll put 
put a link to all the patterns and in the description below. Um, yes, the reason it's different is it is the first tea cozy. It's knitted and it is knitted from the top down. And these are supposed to look like little butterflies. And I used, um, I just came up with my own flowers. I didn't do the knitted flowers. I pretty much learnt these flowers from um, Ella at No Catchy Name. She has a daffodil tutorial and these are like the centres of her daffodil. But there you go. My tea cosy for Zeta's calendar cow representing Charm Grammy Crochet from the picture that she supplied. My next finished object is for Amagurumi Wars and YOH Crochet designed a rock star bear in support of my Make Along Rock 2022 AU. She gifted me a pattern and I have made it for Amagurumi Wars in June being hosted by Joe's Webb and Nicole. I just cannot think of Nicole. I think it's addicted to yarn, but don't quote me on that. You want to see my bear? Well, my favourite rock star at the moment is pink. So I have made a pink rock star bear. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Now, I think I may have done something wrong with the face here but and the arms, but I didn't do too bad a job because I'm still not great with Amagurumi. It's got a little tail. Sorry, guys, I get the cuts. But there he is. Well, there she is, my pink rock star bear for Amagurumi Wars. I think she's very cute. Now, it's a paper for pattern. I know it's on Ravelry. That's what he looks like there in white. Look, I am trying to use, sorry, do it that way. I am trying to use the yarn in my yarn stock rather than buy yarn. And all these projects, including the Tea Cozy, this is um, Double Knit Special DK by Stylecraft the Green. And these are just Marvel um, Four Season. Eight, eight, it's all DK 8 ply weight. This is just Marvel scraps I have left over. This was the, um, the Rockstar Bear was made with the USA style, um, which is like Red Heart yarn, um, Super Saver we get here. And that was left over yarn. So everything I have made has been from my yarn stash, which is tick for me because I'm really happy about that. I really do need... To reduce my yarn stock and have a lot less on hand which brings me to you'll see this basket full of yeah, wool this is wool and this is put aside for a project I am just waiting to get going on it I did say I have to finish two more things tonight and I will start it Monday I am NOT starting another whip I worked out today I have seven whips on the go and I am not letting that blow out five is my limit but I will go to seven the other thing that came this week that really cheered me up no end is of course a card postcard from Pennsylvania my Yanni friend Barbara she's on a lot of channels um, she lives on a boat she sent me a lovely postcard Barbara I hope you enjoyed your time with your grandson and you made lots of new memories. It sounds like you're going to have a lot of fun. And I do appreciate you sending the cards. It's always puts a sparkle in my day. So guys, what have you been up to? For me, um, I like some motivation. And then I, I see something and I get motivated. This will be a huge project and a real challenge it is a knitting project and it will be a big challenge but i am trying to stretch myself this year and do some different things and try and learn some new skills or test my skills see how i'm going um, don't forget being the 26th there's only about four or five days left till the end of june for rock 2022 au make along Make sure you post your pictures or send me your pictures. I think we're only at about 12 people who have posted pictures at the moment. And it would be great to see some more. 
The other thing I've been doing because I have time now is I have been catching up on podcasters and um, some of the ones I've been watching because I live in the tropics and I'm always looking for summer type projects that are suitable for here. The Summer Yarn Hop. I think that's what the hashtag is. I think there's about 16 channels in the Northern Hemisphere doing it and I've watched a few of them and there's some great projects. Um, it's winter here, but winter for me is, it gets down to about 24 Celsius and I have to throw a big doona on the bed. I'm shivering. And I listen to people in the UK saying, oh, it's really warm. It's 24 today. I'm like, that's my son. He's not used to the weather anymore. He goes, oh, it's 24 in London today. It's really hot. And I'm like, that's me breaking out the Ugg boots and the campfire cardigan. Anyway, guys, yes, the Summer Yarn Hop. There is a playlist of different people doing it. If I can find a link to it, that will be in the description below, along with all these pattern links in case you want to try them. You never know. Um, you might decide. That is the project for you. Me tonight, I've just finished relaxing this afternoon. It's been very overcast and cool at 24, so I haven't felt like going outside much. Um, I've just finished watching Casablanca. Oh, such an old movie. And I love the end when he says, he's looking at you, kid. Oh, it is a great movie. If you have never seen Casablanca, track it down and watch it. Yes, it's black and white, but it is such a great movie. And I do love watching it. I think I'd be in excess of watching it 10 times now. And because I know it so well, I can sit and crochet or knit. So, bit of knitting, bit of crochet today. I haven't bought any yarn because I'm trying to be a good girl. Guys, let me know what you've been up to and if you're planning on doing joining the Summer Yarn Hop if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you're down here in the Southern Hemisphere and you're working some winter garments, let me know. I am always looking for inspiration especially when I seem to get bogged down. This inspired me because of something things said to me. I'm thinking, I could use one of those. So guys, until next time, take care, stay well, and don't forget, you can make a rock star bear for Rock 2022 AU. Bye for now.